Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar None 11970. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, or actually listen to what I have to say. It's been a little while, probably about a little bit over a month. Um, it's funny, when I first started this channel, I was making videos every day. And then after a while of some of the negativity that you will receive and the judgment and the assumptions that you will get over the years, and then followed by harassment, it definitely took its toll after a while. So as you saw in the video I made about a month ago, I was talking about how I started because of the stress and some of the family accusations. Um, well, as far as people harassing my family. I decided to go in a different venture and, and do something, re rekindle an old flame, doing something I loved as a kid and made a whole nother channel just to kind of zone out and get back to the zen of things and kind of alleviate the stress. But unfortunately, some people here decided to follow me, and that's fine. What I really want to talk about is especially for people who make videos like this or are thinking of make, about making videos like this. Um, we live in a world today where people make judgments, they make assumptions, and they will give inaccurate information, and instead of researching it, they'll just pass it along because it's the quote-unquote in thing or cool thing to do. And I've been uh, used to the attacks because it... That's one thing when you speak about things that most people don't understand because they basically live their lives doing things that they're told that when they're introduced to anything different, it challenges their upbringings and they get very defensive and it becomes very angry. I was always the type that when I heard something new, I didn't get angry. I would, my curiosity would make me say, you know what, let me see what they're talking about. But for some reason, this generation has this idea of if you're not thinking the same way they do, then you must be attacked. You must be ridiculed, insulted. Um, I guess it's an ego thing. Some people, and they point fingers about others having egos, but yet I, I, what, the point I'm trying to make is if you are thinking about making these type of videos where you're speaking about things that are not mainstream, that are different, that may even seem weird because after all, truth is stranger than fiction. You have to have a strong ability to accept the fact that there will be people that will try and purposely harm you. And it's, it's kind of why this world is the way it is. I mean, can anybody tell me that this world is doing wonderful? I mean, there are more poor people in the world than even middle class now. The middle class has disappeared. There are people starving in one part of the world, but yet people with obesity problems in others. There's misinformation left and right, and the more people research, the more they find these things out to be true. And yet some people are so willing to hold on to old or ideals because it just seems the best way. So people like me and others that make these kind of videos, they're easy targets. And the last time I checked, and keep this in mind for yourself if you ever think about doing videos where you're talking outside of what you hear on TV, that the last time I checked, isn't freedom supposed to be about picking and talking about what you like. Since when do we all have to talk about the same thing or do the exact same thing? When did it become bad to become an individual, to have your own way of thinking? Now, I'm not going to suggest the things I talk about on this channel are easy pills to swallow. Some people have never heard this stuff. I mean, I constantly get emails from people thanking me for making these. Even though I don't make really that many videos anymore, I've gained like three, 4,000 subscribers in the past five months, and I've made maybe five videos because I was concentrating on the other channel. And I'll continue to do that because to me, it's, it's like my jobs. One of my jobs is being a licensed massage therapist. It's nice and relaxing. It's calming. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I'm in a dark room with nice relaxing music. It's just my solitude. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I'm no longer, but I was a lead singer of a band and being a DJ there, I'm outside with the crowd. I'm 
in front of everybody, blasting music and partying atmosphere. So they're on the other ends of the spectrums. And to me, that is so self-healing. And that's one of the reasons why, yes, I have this channel, which talks about things that people could actually research instead of listening to some negative people that like to take one or two words out of context and then make a video about it trying to hurt somebody. Those are the very same people that threatened to rape my wife and threatened to kill my family. These are the people some of them are, are promoting. But to have this side of the spectrum for me is to fulfill my need of wanting to look for deeper things. Because if everybody just looked at the surface of things, they're going to be very disappointed in what they see. And what we've seen throughout history is lies are always made, and they're always made by the very people saying that you should trust them. And I've always said, especially on this channel, I've never said, just take my word at face value. I've always told people to dig deeper, to research, to look on their own. And I don't know why people are so afraid of that. And it's an easy target. So if you're going to make a video like this, you have to be strong because you will be attacked. I mean, I've seen people make videos about puppies and there will be people that hurt them. So just imagine doing stuff like this. I mean, how many people throughout history have been imprisoned or murdered? Or they just coincidentally just all happened to die, the people that tried to do things. I mean, look at the two presidents that got assassinated that were trying to bring this country to a better place economically by making us create our own money. Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. I mean, most people don't realize that John F. Kennedy, when he created Executive Order 11110, it was to have our own U.S. Mint create our currency instead of borrowing it from a foreign bank called the Federal Reserve. But because it's, it has the word federal in it, people just assume. So people get lied to all the time. And yet the people like us, the ones that are trying to search for a better way, instead of the others that don't agree or don't understand, instead of them researching or looking into it, it's just easier to point the finger. It's easier to hurt somebody or make fun of somebody. And I deal with that on my other channel now. But as I've done here, the other channel where I talk about comic books, I mean, it, it's, it's not like it's some conspiracy. But I mean, they're making it out to be like I'm a person that's trying to swindle millions of people. And the funny part that they'll bring up is that I asked for donations one time when I had the um, issue with the cat, when I found a third stray cat. And I had just had over the winter, because we had like three or four feet of snow in the winter, and if you live in New York, you can attest to that, that my pipes broke. And we were just spending a lot of money repairing the damage from the pipes breaking in the living room, damaging the carpet and everything around. And when we found this cat and took it in, it needed, I, I don't remember offhand, so I'm sure people will kill me, I don't get the exact amount, but it was around $1,500 worth of extractions of, of her teeth. So we asked if people could help. And I think I got between one and $200 altogether. And that was it. Never made another thing about it again. And they make it like I'm trying to steal millions of dollars from people. And they'll believe everything that they hear. And that's the typical person in this world. You post something that's easy by attacking somebody, making fun of somebody, people will join a bandwagon instead of saying, you know what? Let me look into these things. Let me think. Let me use this muscle in my head called a brain. Now, I am no better than any other person. I'm never going to suggest that. But I'm not afraid to question things and dig into things. So yes, are things like sun gazing different? Absolutely. Is it something you're not taught? Absolutely. Now, I have already debunked the fact of when they say, oh, don't stare at the sun, you'll go blind. Because if you've seen my videos, I, I was doing the sun gazing for two years. I'm not blind, still not blind. But because it's different and you're not told about it, people assume it's crazy. But at the other end of the spectrum, if somebody has cancer and they go to a doctor, what do doctors prescribe? Well, they call it a nice thing called chemo. But what is chemo? 
Well, that's where they inject radioactivity into your body. Now, I've asked a question to people and no one has ever said yes to the following question. And that question is, would you ever live in Chernobyl in Russia? And hopefully people know what happened in the 80s with the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. To this day, it's uninhabitable because radioactive leaks, like what we've seen in Fukushima, which people don't seem to talk about, that will go on for at least a century, if not more. But people wouldn't live there. And they say, and you ask them, well, why wouldn't you? And they would say, well, because it's radioactive. But yet people will inject that very same material into their body and pay thousands of dollars to do it. Losing their hair, losing their muscle tissue, slowly deteriorating. And me talking about the proper use of sun gazing is strange. I, 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 it's an, it's an, it's an easy target. And see, the idea is to lose the fear. And if you're going to do videos like this, and I, I hope others will research stuff. Because, you know, in this world of trying to find truth, it's not like you could just go to the library, find a book and say, oh, book of truth. Here's everything. It's like taking a puzzle you didn't know existed. And somebody took that puzzle and scattered all the pieces all around, buried it in one country, took another couple of pieces, ripped them apart and threw them in the ocean, took a bunch of others and flung them out into outer space and never telling you about it. And you have to somehow first realize that the puzzle even exists, then to try and find some of the pieces, and then try and formulate a picture. So some of the things I've talked about, yes, they're not 100% accurate because I'm not part of the people who cause these things. But we have to think logically. I mean, how many people, it's so easy to just point fingers and say, oh, that person's an idiot, or that person does this. Because that takes no effort. It's easy to join a bandwagon. And now I have to deal with that on my other channel, which is fine, because like I do here, I do this, like it says in the title, and as you can see, I'm reading it, helping unite the people one person at a time. On the other channel, because, yeah, it's talking about comic books, but there are people who email me every day appreciating what I'm trying to do. And those are the people I do it for. So if you're going to make these kind of videos, don't do it for the majority, because the majority of people are followers. The majority of people have been told that the world is flat and they believed it and they would attack anyone that went against it i mean look up galileo galileo was one of the first people that actually stood up against the mainstream and said no the earth is round the sun is the center of our galaxy of our solar system and our planet revolves around the earth just imagine if he said that today if he made a youtube video how much he would be chastised if the world was told that it was flat and he came along and made a YouTube video and said, no, the world's round. He would have been lucky just to get harassment. But you know what? They threw him in jail where he died because they don't like people that try and speak about truth. I mean, look at example, fluoride. Now, I can't say I know everything about fluoride. I don't have my own lab, so I can only go based on what I research. Just like anything you're told is basically you're regurgitating what somebody else has told you. Whether it's a book, a magazine, TV, radio station, YouTube channel, library, whatever. So you're hoping the people that you get the information from actually know what they're talking about. But let's look at fluoride. From my research and other people's research, because it's apparently I'm not the only one that's noticed this that they've, they've proven, or she at least shown, or at least questioned, that fluoride is bad for you. One of the reasons why, if you look on your toothpaste, it has a warning label that says, harmful if swallowed, if swallowed, cold poison control. Well, you won't see that on a glass of milk. Why? Because there's no poison. But yet, there's a poison control on your toothpaste. Well, maybe that's because there's some kind of toxic chemical in there. And let me ask you this, and this is again for free thinkers. Free thinkers are the ones that are still watching this. The haters are just going to say, oh, Chris made another video. Let's thumb it down. But question, ask this. If fluoride is good for you, and I'm not going to suggest any other way, if it's good for you, why do they have, number one, fluoride-free toothpaste? Number two, fluoride-removing water filters? 
And number three, why is it illegal to put fluoride in water in many countries in Europe? Why would they make something good illegal? And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When was the last time you saw a vitamin C filter? Or an orange juice that proudly displays a label that says vitamin C free? You know why? Because it's good for you. And the more technologically advanced we get, the more we separate from nature. And nature provides everything you need. It provides the air that you breathe, the water that you drink, the food growing from the earth. Because when was the last time somebody had an overdose from eating too many apples? Or had a kidney failure because they ate a bunch of spinach? But these things come from the earth. But yet, you're cold crazy if you think any other way, which I think is kind of sad because I always thought, at least in this country where we're supposed to have freedom, I'm not saying you have to agree with anything I say, but don't I have the right to say it? Because last time I checked, there is nothing here that forces you to be here. There is nothing here that forces you to believe in what I believe. And I never have any videos that say, what I am saying is 100% true. You don't have to verify it at all. Just take my word for it. I give information. I point out where you could find that information when I can. And I tell people, research it yourself. What is wrong with that? Why would people hurt others for that? And yes, I, I sell organ pyramids. When was the last time you saw an advertisement from me promoting it? Other than the one video that, by the way, I teach people how to make it themselves. So the one video, and I'll scroll down here, as you could see here, and you know what? I'll do it this way, make it a little bit easier. I will put, because that's one of the most popular, and it's more popular for a reason. I get people, 73,000 people have watched this, and I get email after email of people thanking me because they want to learn how to make these. The only video that actually talks about, I think, I have maybe one other, but again, I teach people how to do them. This is the most popular video, and yes, I have a link that says if you want to purchase them, you can because I do make them. But the video teaches you how to make them. So you really think I'm trying to rip people off? and I don't go to people's houses with guns and say, you have to buy these. The people approach me. I never knew that was a bad thing. But yet there are people that will accuse me of being this cheat and a swindler. Here's the next video right next to it. Me sun gazing for 25 minutes. There's a video, and I have another one of me doing it for 40 minutes, where I speak and show doing it and teaching how to do it properly. And yet that's crazy. But yet, in the two years I was doing the sun gazing, in my lifetime, I've been sick at least once or twice a year, every year, almost died from walking pneumonia at least five times. In those two years I sun gazed, was not sick once. Jogged on the beach for the first time in my life without having a need for an inhaler in the winter time. Was jogging and walking down the beach for miles every day. Never felt better. But yet, it's crazy because it's different. The video here, the truth about the United States law on you. All you have to do is look up the Act of 1871. All you have to do is research what has happened. I mean, I'll ask a question again. No one's been able to answer. In your lifetime, can you name five politicians, whether they're president, governor, mayor, senator, House of Representatives, anybody? Can you name five people in your lifetime that actually were honorable people, full of integrity, that kept every word that they promised? And I've had people make it difficult to try and think of two. But yet these are the people that we put our trust in. I'm not saying we need to kill everybody and now just be total anarchists. But since when is it wrong to question things? And you have to see the incentive. Like there is one channel that dedicated their channel to misrepresenting things I said, taking it out of context, 
taking things and making it the fullest extent of what it's worth. Like I said, for example, with the donations, they make it seem like my entire channel is nothing but asking for money. But meanwhile, I had one video where I talked about helping to save a rescued cat. But according to them and other people who are now sharing it, they're like, oh, we got to stop this criminal. Why? Because I have one channel that speaks about this and I have another channel that talks about something I loved since I was a child. So I guess you have to be a socialist, fascist, or a dictatorship. Because otherwise, you're not allowed to be individuals. You're not allowed to have different thoughts. I, I don't understand. And the same thing here. I talk about right here. I sell organic products. But here's the video, the number one video that says how to make your own organic soaps. So I teach people how to make the very thing that I supposedly am trying to rip people off on. How is that a good strategy if that's what I'm trying to do? But you know, it's easy to say, oh, well, everybody hates this person, so I'm going to hate them too. I'm not going to even look into it. I'm just going to look at the few clips that they share, things out of context. I'm not going to question it. Why do you think we're in the problems that we're in in this world? And how some the few take advantage of us. I mean, the, one of the biggest lies you'll ever hear is we have a water shortage. Well, I hate to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, but every drop of water that you drink was peed out of somebody else probably 5,000 times throughout our life's history span. Water evaporates, turns into air molecules, hydrogen and oxygen. And then eventually enough of them form together. They form a cloud. They create back into water and fall back down to the ground. We have the same water here that we've had for millions of years. So where's the shortage? And who's telling you that? The corporations like Coca-Cola, Nestle, and all of them who are buying up the water so they can sell it in a bottle? They're the ones? What about climate control? They don't seem to want to tell you that for thousands of years, because of the way we have our solar system is an elliptical orbit, which means it's not a complete circle, which it means at some points it's further away from the center and sometimes it's closer to the center, that will change temperature. And throughout the cycle of the Earth, we've had ice ages and we've had extremely warm temperatures. But I seriously doubt the first ice age started because a bunch of woolly mammoths decided to use too much hairspray. But yet you'll believe what's popular, and somebody like me will be called crazy. And it'll be by the very people who won't even listen to this. So if you've listened to this this far, you are obviously one of those people who has the ability to use your mind more than just regurgitate what somebody else has said. And we need more people like you. So yeah, I haven't made that many videos these days because of the harassment I've been dealing with. But they actually give me more incentive to want to continue to talk about this stuff because there are people out there that want to commit suicide because of the fact that they've been harassed and hurt and they're alone because misery seems to love company. And there are people that don't want to join the bandwagon. I know people that haven't watched a television show in years. Now, I, I watch Netflix when I need to be entertained, but I don't have cable TV. I don't, I haven't watched one news program. If you ask me anything about the recent presidential election, I couldn't tell you a thing, and I'm proud of it. Because why would you want to applaud your new slave masters? Because if people even knew anything about the Constitution and our 13th Amendment, it, the 13th Amendment specifically talks about involuntary servitude as the definition of slavery. And I challenge any of these critics and attackers to even understand what that means or comprehend what that means. Involuntary servitude means they cannot take you and forcefully make you do something, but they can get you to volunteer yourself because then voluntary servitude is technically legalized slavery. Why do you think when somebody goes to prison, because it also says it does not apply to people that go to prison or jail, people need to read their amendments. Why do you think they get paid like $2 a week to do all that manual labor? You don't even have to give them that because they have legal slaves. Because the 13th Amendment, if you go to prison, the 13th Amendment doesn't protect you. And even if we go past amendments, and the laws, because I've told people about where you can look up these laws. But why not question it? They're there for a reason. To question things. 
And you should never be afraid to question things. So I'm going to continue to make videos on this channel once in a while when I feel motivated to speak. And I'm going to continue doing the other channel because I absolutely love doing it. Does that make me a hypocrite because I like more than one thing? Because I guarantee you any single person that's pointed a finger about me is not doing the same exact thing and the only thing in their lives. I'm sure they're doing a well-diverse amount of things. But it's easy to pick on somebody. It's just a, it's a disappointing choice that grown adult, I can understand kids because they don't know any better. But the people that are attacking people like me and others, these are grown adults. They sure don't act like it. So what happens with this video? I'm sure there'll be people that shop it up. I'm sure there will be people that will take things out of context because God forbid, you know, if I make an hour and a half long video and if I say two or three things wrong, they won't focus on the things I got right, but they'll harp on the things that I got wrong and make a video about it. And then somebody will watch that. and Oh, look at this guy. He's always wrong. And they'll never watch the real thing. So if you're one of those people out there that want to make videos, be inspired. Do it because it's right. It's time we stop being afraid. Because if you know throughout history, people tend to be afraid until eventually they lose so much that they can't afford to be afraid anymore. And unless people can tell me the world is going in a great direction. I mean, yeah, you could get an iPhone 6 real quick. You can get these new Apple phones which have no battery that you could take out, so it's constantly on. And when I talked years ago about how governments actually track your information, I was laughed at. Until now, they've actually admitted they do it. But yet nobody says, oh, wait, you were right, because it's just easier to hate. But until we change our mindset, this world is going to continually benefit those that profit off of the people's ignorance. I don't regret anything I've ever done. I mean, yes, there are some times I've let the, the attacks get the worst side of me, but I learned from it. And if you learn from a bad experience, then it happened for a reason. And I don't make videos now wanting, because I remember a couple of years ago, I actually wanted to fight a YouTuber. Like, really? That, this, that was a poor decision on my behalf. But you've never seen another video like that again, because I learned from it. And when you learn from things, then experiences are there for a reason. And if only one person learns from this video and loses some of the fear or decides, let me dig a little bit deeper and research a little bit more, then a good thing can come out of this. Because who's to say that one person doesn't change the world? Because in our history, sometimes it only takes one person to stand up against the oppression to change the world. And we need that. And I'm not saying I'm that person. But I know there are people out there that care enough. So this is Chris. This is Born on 11970. Yes, I have this channel and I have a comic book channel. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I would love to hear your comments. And uh, these days I don't respond much to the comments because there's just too many of them at this point. And it, it's definitely a stressful thing. So if you send something kind, I want you to know it will be read and it will be appreciated. Make videos, speak your own mind, research things, question things. And don't be afraid because there's always going to be people that will sit behind their computer and find it funny or cool to hurt others. And you know what? I would rather deal with this pain knowing I've tried to help than to be one of those people that pats their own egos on the back and does things to hurt others. It's just not my decision. But they have the right to do it. Just like I have the right to do what I'm doing. So I hope you'll check out some of my videos if this is the first video you've ever seen. I hope you will see things with an open mind. I hope you will research and question them. Because I may not get everything right, but my intention is to help. And if we had more people in the world trying to do that, this would probably be a much better place. Instead of a world of me, 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 shouldn't it be a world about us? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.